Hey guys, what is going on? Louie here, and today I've got for you another breakdown video. This is episode 4, um, and today we're going to be going through uh, the, the stats of the M not the MSR, what is this, MW3? No, we're going through the SMR. That's what we're doing. We're doing the SMR. Um, my friend on uh, Xbox asked if uh, if I could, so uh, here we go, it's for him. So, the damage is 50 up close and 50, uh, not 50 at long range, oh my goodness guys, I'm sorry, 50 up close and 40 at long range, damage multipliers are 1.2 for headshot, 1.0 for body shot, and 0.9 for lower body shot, the weapon class of course is an assault rifle, magazine size, 20 rounds, 27 with extended clip, that is horrible, I have to get extended clip just to have a little bit below average uh, magazine size. I don't think so, Sunny. You unlock this gun at level 46. The starting ammunition is uh, 20 and 60. You start, I mean, your maximum ammunition is 20 and 160. And the reload time is really, 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 really slow. This is uh, it's 2.69 seconds when you still have bullets in the magazine and 3.2 seconds when your clip is completely empty the rate of fire oh goodness 535 rounds per minute maximum when it is on semi-auto and on automatic 416 rounds per minute oh my gosh it's faster than the speed of light oh wow I'm really enthusiastic about this one guys oh goodness it's because I really hate this gun, honestly. I cannot stand it. But I'm, I'm going to try and give my honest uh, my honest opinion on it. Uh, the, the range for damage is... Uh, it has 50 damage points up until about 37 meters. And then from 38 meters to about 75 meters, it does 49 damage points. And from 75 meters on, or 76 meters on, it does 40 damage damage points the recoil is moderate it's like I'm trying to think of a gun to compare it with uh, if you remember the recoil from the m4a1 from mw3 it, this is like the semi-auto version with that kind of recoil um, it's it's got it's pretty kind of like the same recoil pattern I hope you guys understand where I'm going with that but it's got a lower recoil when you put on foregrip and the fire modes, they have semi-automatic, which is the default, and automatic, which is in single player, and when you put select fire as an attachment. Now, those those were like the main stats. Now, let's, let me get more in-depth with it. Uh, deals high damage, capable of two-shot kills, all the way up to long range, and only three shot kills at long range, which is kind of a lie. I don't know why I wrote that in. Um, you can get two shot kills at long range if you have FMJ and you get two headshots. Um, and in hardcore, you get one shot kills, of course. No other assault rifle can really compete in time to kill other than the FAL, which uh, the FAL deals five more points of damage at close range, but still kills with the same amount of bullets up close. And again, compared to the FAL, the two-hit kill range, uh, the SMR has a little bit longer and needing three-hit kills outside of long range, whereas the FAL, it needs three-hit kills outside of close to medium range. The SMR also has five bullets less than the FAL, giving it a lower fire cap and more recoil. I don't know what magazine size has to do with recoil, but it has more recoil than the FAL. And the order of attachment unlocks is reflex, quick draw, fast mag, ACOG, foregrip, adjustable, stock, target finder, laser sight, select fire, EOTech, suppressor, FMJ, hybrid optic, extended clip, grenade launcher, and millimeter scanner. So, that is, uh, that's for more multiplayer, and I even have some zombies, uh, info in here for you too, um, 
you can buy it for 950 points from the mystery box. It has 20 round magazine with uh, 140 rounds in the reserve, and it's consider considerably is not even the right word. It's way weaker than its multiplayer counterpart, and even in ADS, the bullet spread is horrible, absolutely ridiculous. Makes making even close quarters combat a challenge. Uh, when you pack a punch it, it becomes the Smiler. It has 30 round magazine, 420 rounds in reserve. I wish it was like that in the, in multiplayer. It has increased damage and a hybrid optic by default. However, it is still semi-auto and still inaccurate even when in ADS, making this difficult to use past close quarters, so like long range engagements in zombies. So those are those are just some stats and in depth look at it. Now it's time for the hardest part of this breakdown video is my honest opinion on this gun and a good class setup to use with it. Now a good class setup to use with it, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get that out of the way first, is the one you're watching right now. I believe it's uh Oh crap 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 suppressor FMJ and select fire or suppressor foregrip select fire I can't really remember off the top of my head I'd have to go through the gameplay again but I'm not going to do that because it messed up my recording so uh those anyway those both of those uh class setups work and uh you know whatever whatever perks you want I use scavenger because the select fire and now, the real hard part is my honest opinion on what I think of this gun. I said I hate this gun, which I really, really do. I cannot stand how slow it reloads. Even with fast mag, it, it goes like 2.4 seconds. And then, I think, 3 or 2.8 seconds. It's, it's still really, really slow with fast hands or I mean fast mag and I mean the the rate of fire needs needs to lift it needs to start lifting it needs to get its weight up freaking 535 rounds per minute max I don't think so son um when 14 I mean 416 rounds per minute automatic no I mean and starting ammunition don't even get me started you start with 20 rounds in 60 in your reserve 20 rounds in 60 in my reserve with the mp7 I'd be done like that same and it's the same thing with the SMR honestly but I'll go ahead and give it a 7.5 out of 10 because it does deal a lot of damage and plus the damage multiplier is 1.2 for headshots so let's see it does if you get a headshot it'd be 50.2, 50 is 10, it'd do 60 damage for a headshot, and it'd do uh, some amount of damage for long range uh, headshot. So, that's my breakdown on, this, on the SMR. And I hope you enjoyed, hope you found a pack full of information, and you know, you, you use it if you want to. Don't you don't have to take my opinion. You don't have to hate it because I hate it. You you play the way you want to play. So, hope you enjoy. Don't forget to comment on what uh, what you want to see next. I'll break down a map. I'll break down an attachment perk. A uh, wild card. I don't know how I'm going to break down a wild card, but I'll do it. I'll break down a lethal, tactical map. I'll, I'll even break down a map, you know. Um, so, comment on what you want to see next. And I'll see you guys in the next vids. Deuces.